A protocol can consist of just one pipeline. Running the protocol will give you the output of the pipeline. This one simply displays a table with text. A protocol can have more than one pipeline. The pipelines run in order, from the top to the bottom of the protocol. To demonstrate this, let's add a second pipeline to this protocol. Now we will change the parameters in the bottom pipeline, so we can distinguish it from the top. The top pipeline will output first, then the bottom one will output, with the last two output showing on top. If you change the order of the pipelines, the order of execution will change. You can do this by dragging the first component of a pipeline. Notice that the pipeline labeled 2 is now on top. You can tell it will run first because it has been numbered as 1 and the bottom pipeline as 2. Now run the protocol. The pipeline that was labeled as 2 output first. Here it is covered up by the pipeline that was labeled as 1, which output second. Multiple pipelines are useful if you need to know a value derived from all your data records in order to do further calculations. Such a value might be a total or an average. Let's look at a protocol that demonstrates this concept. Running this protocol with the pipelines as they are produces the correct output. Now let's switch the order of the pipelines. As you can see, when they run in this order, you get an error message. These pipelines can only run in the original order, as the one relies on output from the other.